Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, I am in my living room. We have some crazy lighting going on here. Um, I should be a little better. Um, I wanted to show you guys really fast how to make the um, insect repellent in a um, fine misting spray bottle. A lot of people have been asking how on earth we can do this um, because I'm sorry, I have um, three tiny humans that run around and when they all want to go outside to play, but you don't want them getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes, you're just like, how can I quickly um, get that this on them? And honestly, love Young Living, love the, love the product, but these bottles, I was like, there's no way. I'm gonna sit around and squirt this and rub it all over my kids. I don't have time for that. Um, and everyone has their different time schedules and that's fine, I totally respect that. So uh, these are fabulous, you can get them on Amazon, but they're a fine misting spray, so it actually aerosols the spray a lot more. I originally bought it to make hairspray for my son because he usually has like a mohawk and like crazy hair and I didn't really wanna use chemicals on that. Um, and so anyway, what you do is you order this from Young Living, okay? This is actually what the new bottle looks like. It just came in, it was repackaged. Um, really, really excited about it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this up about, um, about a, a third of the way full, maybe a um, little more than that, okay? So I um, hope you guys can see this well. All right, so we're just kind of doing, I think this is gonna be about three applications in one bottle, okay, is kind of what I'm thinking. So a third of the bottle. So you get all of that goodness in there. I might've put a little extra in, um, that's okay. Uh, then you're just gonna do the next um, third with vodka, okay? Um, so this is actually organic vodka. So one third, one third, one third, okay? So um, this is a really cool bottle. Uh, anyway, um, so then you fill it up with vodka and then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put distilled water in here. I don't actually have it with me right here. Um, but once you do that, you're going to put this on here and when you squeeze this, it's gonna slowly, and you wanna shake it up too. <laughs> and actually, you should shake it a little bit when it's just the insect repellent and the vodka to kind of emulsify those two together first before you add the water anyways. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any distilled water in here. I don't. Um, but I do have this. This is a really fun hack. Um, I saw this at, Casey did this, and I was like, that's brilliant. This is a Ningxia Red bottle. Um, it's finished, clearly, because Ningxia Red is not clear. Um, but I actually put water, tap water, in here, and I keep it next to all my diffusers now. Because does anybody else kind of suck at remembering to turn their diffuser on? Mainly because you're just like, oh, I don't want to go get water and put it in there. I'm not kidding, like that's me. I'm so task oriented that I'm like, I'm not gonna stop to fill up a diffuser. I'm so weird. Anyway, so when I saw that she did this, I was like, that's brilliant. I'll actually use my diffusers. And I'm not kidding, guys. I'm using all the diffusers in my house today because I started putting water bottles next to my diffusers. Just saying, if you're like me, no judging. I totally celebrate it. Let's get this done. All right, so from here, you guys can see it's mixed up really well. Um, the vodka really helps emulsify uh, what's in here. If you have children with sensitive skin or you're a little concerned about that, just decrease your vodka, you know? And if you're really, really worried about it, don't put any vodka in there at all. Um, like I said, vodka's just there because it helps those molecules um, adhere to water molecules a lot better. And so, excuse me, it's gonna make you not have to shake it near as much. So the only difference is, is if you don't use vodka, you're just gonna shake it even more often, okay? But we always shake everything. If you're like me and everything in your house is DIY or some form of natural product, 90% of the time we're shaking things, right? So anyway, uh, that's all you have to do. Add water to it, give it a couple squeezes and see when I let go, it's still spraying. Um, this is uh, a little bit on the, um, like creamy, oily based side. So definitely when you're putting it on, don't do it on your tile floors, like having the kids stand on the tile floors. Um, I actually don't even like to do it on the deck because it makes the deck a little bit slick. So I'll make the kids stand in the grass and I'll put it on or over um, a towel or something like that. Because again, we've got essential oils, it's essential oil infused. Um, and there are other things in here that um, do have a little bit more of a greasy, uh, greasy texture to it, like sesame oil, and um, well, I guess sesame, yeah, sesame oil, 89%. So sesame oil has a little bit more of that greasy factor. And so anyway, you wanna make sure that you're standing over top of um, the grass or something that is a little less um, easily made slick. So anyway, um, I hope that helps you guys kind of get a better understanding on how to um, 
use this in a more practical form when you're trying to get it on. And honestly, everybody loved it. We had a cookout recently. That's why the bottle was empty. And everybody just like went to town with this and they loved it. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, I need to get that from my home as well. So really fantastic um, way to use your insect repellent. And now you know how to make it. Have a good one.